Hello everyone, my name is Ricky and welcome back again to my channel. Today we are going to do color separation for this design in CMYK method and also we are going to do the white underbase for this design. Alright, so let's see how it goes. Stay tuned, let's get started. So in my previous video, you have seen that we have done the color separation, the basic CMYK color separation for this design. And today we are going to do a little bit advanced for this one as we are going to do the white underbase and uh, so that you can print this on a different color t-shirt, right? So I'll just delete this one first. All right, so to begin with, first thing first, we need to check a few things. And number one is you need to check the image size first so we have the resolution at 300 and we want to keep it that way the rest the width and all it is fine so we don't have to adjust anything the second thing we want to do is we want to open our new template so you go to file new and I want to open my template at 13 by 19 because that is what I can print in my printer so whatever printer you use, if the maximum size, you can use that as your template. So my template is 13 by 19. I'll keep it at 300 and I'll keep it at RGB color. I'll create this and I'm going to copy this here. Control A, Control C to copy and I'll just paste over here. Now I want to resize this so that, you know, it can fill up my template. All right so that is fine I'll leave some space on the top and the bottom so that later I can put my registration mark and uh, layer informations okay all right so let me quickly go and fill up this with the black background so that we can see how the image will look if we want to print on a black t-shirt so currently it is looking fine but I want to you know uh, give the colors a little more vibrant uh, so for that you just need to press ctrl and u u for umbrella so here you the this uh, hue and saturation thing will open up you know you can individually go and increase the saturation here if you tap the master uh, tap here but otherwise you can also do and increase um, to where you think it is perfect right we wouldn't we don't want it too bright as well uh, somewhere around here that is fine I'll click it okay and this is what it is going to look like all right so what I'll do now is I'll go and quickly go to the mode and I'll change it to CMYK all right so do not flatten it okay so as soon as I change to CMYK the color profile changes and you can see that uh, you know it uh, the color change a little bit right so we have to work now in the CMYK color profile so you have to press again Control U to make the saturation a little bit more so I'll click all the way up and that is fine okay so what I'll do is now I will go and do one more important settings before we do the color separations okay so whenever you are in the CMYK color profile so right now we are in CMYK color profile so sometimes what happens is the CMYK the black is not as black as it should be right so we need to have a complete black so that later on when we do the color separations or when we print out we get the exactly black colors all right so to do that you go to edit and all the way to color settings here from here you you'll see the working space here we have RGB and we are in CMYK so we are working now in CMYK so you click that button go to custom CMYK and here all the way down you'll see this black generation right so mine is already put in maximum so you see if it is in yours is uh, set to medium or whatever so you just set it back to maximum right okay so you will do that and press okay so right now 
mine was already black so you can you wouldn't be seeing any uh, you know difference but it has already done so after that you directly go to rgb color mode don't match and again change it back to cmyk okay don't merge so this is what we will get all right so right now what we will do is uh, i'll leave the background as it is like this but i'm going to make another layer with the same design again so to do that we'll just press ctrl a ctrl c and ctrl v to copy this okay right now we are going to make a temporarily uh, under base okay so later on we can do some adjustment so i'll just double click here and i'll do color overlay here i'm going to turn it into black all right then i'll go then i'll click um, I'll right click and you can rasterize layer style all right so you go to channels again so right now we will start doing our color separations okay so this is still a very basic uh, color separations but with this method you will be able to print on any color t-shirt with a very very good output right there are more advanced level there are more techniques to do it but I feel for beginner this is the best option you can choose for all right and you'll get a very good result so what i'll do is i'll go and create another layer or sorry the, the channel create new channel all the way down here you see the plus sign here so you click that and this alpha one will come double click it go to spot color and choose black here we'll name this as black t-shirt all right solidity 100 percent and after that I'll click on this black just above the black t-shirt and I'll right click it and duplicate this okay press okay after that I'll double click again here you go to spot color and you choose white all the way okay we'll name this as white base all right so we have our white base but this is not done yet okay so if we try to print directly like this you know you'll have a very thick print and you don't want that so we're going to adjust this later uh, later in the video but first we have the outline of our white base okay so you go back to CMYK go to layers turn this off and turn on our main design now go back to channels again so right now we want to duplicate each uh, channel here like CMY uh, like the cyan magenta yellow and black all right so cyan right click duplicate okay magenta right click duplicate okay yellow right click duplicate okay and black as well all right I'll quickly go and put the spot color you click on here and cyan we will keep it to 100% rest all uh, zero okay solidity five percent turn on the magenta double click okay magenta again hundred percent five percent solidity and as yellow as well zero and this one hundred percent okay five percent and the black choose the black 100% that is absolutely fine so now we have our color separation so this one is for printing on white t-shirt now if you want to print on black t-shirt we need an underbase right that is why we have the underbase so currently we have this white underbase it is looking perfectly fine we don't need to do much changes but like I said before if we directly print this imagine the ink deposit in your t-shirt your print will look very thick so we need to do some adjustment before we do adjustment we can go and remove this weird outline that we have here so I'll just press control and click it over here so it will select this part and I'm going to go to select modify and contract at least two percent okay so it will go and select this now you go to select again you press inverse and just delete it okay so we have deleted that weird outline that we had 
so now we don't have any outlines anymore okay so this is done now second thing is we need to uh, we need to uh, uh, we need to give some breathing space here if, like you know uh, because right now if we print this like this like I said before it will be very thick so we should give some breathing space uh, to this white under base there are a couple of methods to do uh, and uh, I'll show you one more method how you can do and I personally do not like that uh, and the reason why I'm going to show you right now okay uh, you don't have to do this I'm showing you this for example if we do this method how it will look and if we do our version how it will turn out okay so I'll click I'll go to channel uh, layers and turn on my black background now go back to channel and I'll select everything and I'll just save this okay and I'll invert this image so I'll bring it up here somewhere around here and I'm going to change it to white I'll just say white base test you don't have to do this okay I'm showing you for comparison to compare with our original one okay so this we have 100% so I'll just quickly go and press ctrl A ctrl C and ctrl N and I'm going to paste it over here and I'm going to turn it into a bitmap okay 300 output I'll give this to 45 okay so we are done with a bitmap grayscale and RGB all right I'll just uh, Control A, Control C, and I'll delete this. I'll come back to my main master copy here that we were doing the color separations, and I will just go and paste this on top of the white base test. All right, so we have our color uh, the bitmap for the white base. Okay, so now you can see we have dots, tiny dots, everywhere. Okay, in the design. This will this will look perfectly fine if you just see that you know this is fine you can adjust the contrast or you can put two layers and you know this will look fine but as compared to this you know it is it, it, it this will give you better results okay but you know we can't print like this okay we can't print like this it will not here you can see that we have breathing space right this will lighten up the color the ink consumption in your t-shirt and you know you can print uh, you know that the print will not look thick but the problem with this is that you know if I change my color t-shirt let's say you want to print this on a blue t-shirt right so I'm going to I'm going to choose a blue here on my uh, this the template uh, background boy. so when I change it back uh, to blue because of the half tones you know these half tones it will catch the t-shirt color and influence overall t-shirt uh, overall print right the color the mixing of the color so that's why we don't want that we want consistency let's say if you print in white black or any other color t-shirt all the output should have the same uh, color density right so in this method if we do this then the color density it will change according to the color of the t-shirt and that will influence our total output output so we don't want that okay so this is why i was showing this method there are other couple of ways as well but i think for beginner level i think you know the best is to do this method so i'll delete this one you don't get confused okay so you don't need to do this i was just trying to show you uh, the, the the example of if we do this how it will turn out right so I'll delete this one now so I'll show you our method of doing it so remember we have already taken this uh, the outline of our white base so all you need to do is go to image and duplicate this okay duplicate all right so now you go and press you are still in the channel mode so go and press the black which is our this black and go to image mode bitmap okay all right all right we're gonna keep angle at 45 and frequency at 45 this frequency it can determine by your mesh count so let me put 50 because I am using a 200 mesh count 
So 200 divided by 4 is somewhere around yeah, 50. Okay, All right. So I'll put 50 angle. I'm going to put 45 shape. You, it doesn't matter. You can put round or ellipse. Okay, I'll just put round for now. All right. So we have this. Okay. So, okay. So then you go to control A and control C to copy this. I'll close this up and I'll come back to my master copy here. I'll choose the black here and I'm going to paste it over here. Okay. So I have my half tones going on in my black already. So you can see this. All right. So now what I need to do is I'll turn on my black uh, t-shirt, the background, I'll change it to black. Okay. And the white as well. I'll click on the black and I'm going to press control and click on this black. All right. So now you, uh, after that, you just release the control and just click on the white base. From here, you turn off this black, okay, so that you can see. All right, so from here, what I'll do is, I'm going to clear this up, okay? You go to edit and you'll see this button called clear. All right, again, clear, okay? So you have this, now we have our white base so we have a breathing space you can see we have a complete as compared to my our other one you know it did not have any breathing space and imagine if you print that how much ink is going to consume and sometimes base we sometimes need to put two coats and if you put two coats and plus the four colors you know the print will look so thick but but by doing this you are uh, you know you are uh, lessening the ink consumption and uh, and and still yet you are not uh, you know making the color to get influence if you change the other colors i'll show you what i mean by that so i'll turn on all my uh, other channels you can see in black t-shirt it will look like this so if i change to blue t-shirt it will still remain the same if i change to you know red t-shirt it, <clears throat> it will still remain the same if I choose the yellow t-shirt it will remain the same if I choose white white will obviously remain the same you know any other color you name it right so it will not influence the overall output so this is why I prefer this way and for starting purpose this is perfectly fine you can really get a very good result okay so right now I think we are we are about to you know finish we just need to do some touch-ups for this I think it is pretty close to our original design which is this so we don't have to do much and everything is good only thing we have to do is we need to go and input all our half tone and uh, you know we're ready to print so you can go and save this as a master copy and after that what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the white and control a control C and control N. this will bring up our new uh, uh, you know a new file and from here I'm going to paste over this control V Okay, so this is and I'm going to turn this into a RGB mode Do not flatten uh, This is our white base. So we have already done the you know the half tone so we don't need it anymore Okay, so I'll go to layer. I will change the name to white base Okay, and I'll go to my master copy here I'm going to channels and I'm going to do the cyan control a control c control n press enter control v so here i need to do the bitmap so for cyan you go to mode bitmap okay <clears throat> okay and the angle for cyan is 15 so frequency will keep it the same press okay grayscale control a control c i will delete this one and i'm going to go to here and paste over here so this one is cyan okay so i'll do the same for magenta and yellow control a control c control n paste it over here bitmap okay for magenta is 75 angle frequency is same press all are same you go to image mode grayscale control a control c go to here and paste it over here this one is m for magenta go to our master copy again this is yellow control a control c control n 
and I go to bitmap and this one we are going to give zero for yellow all right done and then grayscale Control a Control c delete this one you come here paste it over here and this one is yellow for the black we have already done the half tone so we don't need any more you just need to copy this Control a Control c to copy and go to layers here and paste it over here and this one we'll name as bk now all you need to do is you know put the registration mark and put the layer information and print it out okay so this is my registration mark so i'm going to copy this Control a Control c so that it aligns straight you know you don't have to you know uh, it will it will just remain straight to the file okay so anyway so this is our registration mark and let's say if i want to print so remember the sequence okay when you are going to print this you are going to print the white base first then cyan magenta yellow and lastly the black in black sometimes in black t-shirt if you're going to print the black might not need it but you test it out and see whether you need it or you don't need it in other color t-shirt you will need and in white you don't need the white base okay but still you can take out five frames you'll need five screens okay so if I want to print the black what I'll do is I've already have my registration and here I'll put the text as BK frame number five okay and I'll adjust this somewhere here this one later is just for your information and one you are once you have exposed this film you have to go and block all this and uh, you know uh, while doing production okay this is just for your information all right so once you are done with this you go ahead and print do the same thing for the rest and and then once you're done I think you should get a very decent print output so this is a basic way to do basic way to put uh, the, the white base for any CMYK and with this method you will get a very good result still this is very basic but still you'll get a very good result you can try it out and see and yourself and if you find a good result do give me a feedback when you come back and uh, if you have any questions you know you can just comment in the comment box or reach out to me and for the people who are living in India if you want to learn more advanced technique of all these color separations and printing and everything we conduct a three days class uh, every month you can check out you can give uh, you can whatsapp me you know the number is given below and uh, when is our next batch and if you're interested you can come and learn from me live all right so i hope you all like this video something to learn and uh, you will improve in your screen printing right thank you so much for watching this video and this is ricky again see you next time have a good time